Welcome to Agenda Edina, a news program summarizing the actions taken at City Hall that affect you most. I'm your host, Dorothea Marty. The City Council will consider changing the name of a street in downtown Edina. City Manager Scott Neal has proposed renaming West 49th and a Half Street as Market Street. Old maps of the city show that Market Street was once the name of the short street in the 50th and France district. The point of changing the name is that West 49th and a Half Street, uh, tricky for some people to say and uh, even trickier for some people to write. You know, we see it a number of different ways. Sometimes people try to spell it out. It's just confusing. And uh, so if we could alleviate some confusion, especially at a time when we're doing a, a, a potentially doing a massive project, a redevelopment project in that area, we thought it would be a good idea. There are 13 parcels of land with the West 49th and a Half Street address. A public hearing on the proposed name change will be held Tuesday, March 21st. What will a commercial area at 44th Street and France Avenue in the Morningside neighborhood look like in the next few decades? That's the question the city hopes to answer in a small area plan. A new working group of the Planning Commission will engage neighborhood residents, businesses and other stakeholders in the area of 44th Street and France Avenue to develop the plan. 44th and France is a gem in Edina and much like 50th and France, it's a little smaller. Uh, we are looking for input from property owners, business owners, nearby residents to form the, the future development of the area. The 44th and France area had previously been identified as an area of potential change in the 2008 Comprehensive Plan. A small area plan was not completed at that time, but will be as part of the 2018 Comprehensive Plan update. The Government Alliance on Race and Equity, or GARE, is a national network of governments working to achieve racial equity. The City of Edina recently joined the City of Bloomington, Hennepin County, and other Minnesota government entities as members of GARE. Edina TV's Scott Denfeld takes a look at the City's participation in this project. The City decided to apply to be part of the Government Alliance for Race Equity uh, cohort that uh, they partner with the League of Minnesota Cities. Here is the first session in 2017 of the Advancing Racial Equity Speaker Series. The Edina GARE team consists of nine people. There's five staff members, three Human Rights Commission members, and then one council member. Uh, what is really exciting is that all of the five staff members actually volunteered to be part of the program. And we, we've just started. So uh, in January we had our first seminar where we, where we learned quite a bit. So the work that we are doing together is really about understanding how we can create sustainable long-term change. So this is a new program for Edina, but fortunately for us, we've had neighboring cities complete the program last year. So we're already starting to learn a lot from them. I think there was just uh, a lot of interest around this issue. We saw kind of what was going on nationally. We also saw the demographics of our community. It's really interesting because you see a lot of enthusiasm from different organizations, but also the knowledge. Because there are delegates that uh, were part of the 2016 team, so they've already started the process that we're starting, and they're more in the action and implementation phase. Mr. Anthony and Mr. Harris talked about the history of local government practices and how they've contributed to racial inequity, sometimes intentionally, but just as often unintentionally. One of the things that we want to make sure is happening on a consistent basis is that the services you receive or the way policies or procedures are enforced um, are not affected based on someone's race, whether that be intentional or unintentional. I didn't, I didn't think coming into this that it was quite as complex or as broad of an issue as it is. I thought, okay, I'll learn about some racial equity and then we'll start forming, but it's, it's a lot more complex than I think one realizes. And we've come through an era of our history where we really have race neutral policies. No matter what your views or standpoint or background is, race is a really difficult subject to talk about. I do a talk with second graders where I talk about the history of the city of St. Louis Park. And 
um, I point to the back wall and see council chambers where the photographs of all of our past mayors are. And I say, well, what don't you see on that wall? And they know right away. You know, you, I don't have to explain it much more than that. And so one of the things that we really as a group have been working on is even how to normalize those conversations about race so that you can have educated and informed discussions and be able to listen uh, to other people's point of view without immediately getting defensive. I think once people become more aware of what racial equity is and just looking at some of the disparities, I, th I really think people will be really receptive to it because we just, you know, subconsciously a lot of people don't even realize it, I think. The GARE team will participate in extensive training throughout the year and will share their work with the City Council's Race and Equity Task Force. Thanks for watching this episode of Agenda Edina. I'm your host, Dorothea Marty.